Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Cancer. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March, March 2020. Now, um, after this, I'm going to do a six months from now. So right after, I don't know about right after because I got a private reading, but soon after. I'm going to do the six months from now, and you can check that one out. Now, um, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. But right now, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March. Okay. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Cancer? You're dealing with some sort of challenges. Because I see mountains. There's a challenge that you need to overcome. It's not easy. You're going through something that isn't really very easy. Now, something about judgment as well. There uh, could be some truths that are going to be revealed. Some sort of karma. Because judgment is a card of karma. Being held accountable. Um, responsibility being assigned. The end of things. So this month there could be a judgment that is made. If there's a court or something like that. It's like it's the final judgment. Things become final. It comes to an end. It comes to a head. As some sort of truth is revealed this month. Are you ready to be judged? Because that is what judgment is about. So you're going to be judged for something. There's a life changing decision that is coming up in March for you. Um, authority, you may be dealing with an Aries. This could be a father, it could be a boss, um, could be a husband, could be an ex. What, oh, this is a masculine. This guy is very dominant, he is very protective, and he is very... Um, it's like he's a rock, okay? He's a rock. He is immovable, and he is unbreakable. So you could be dealing with this person. You could also be, this could also be a judge, okay? So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a judge or you're dealing with an Aries. It could be a Capricorn as well. But whoever this person is, this person is very authoritative, and they are in charge, okay? This person is in charge. This could also be you, okay? If you are the masculine watching this, this is a masculine this is a masculine. This ain't no feminine. That is in charge. Okay. This is this is a, a leader. Okay. He has everything in order. He's very stable. He's very solid, and he's very secure. All right. And it looks like his mind is made up, and he is not going to budge. Okay. This guy is not going to budge. Let's get one of these for cancer. Now, this guy is rigid. He is rigid. He's tough. He's tough. He's a very tough exterior, and he doesn't plan on showing any weakness. He is ready for a battle. He's battle ready. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. So you're going to need to have faith this month. Have faith that everything happens for a reason. Okay, there's a reason why some, everything happens. Now, the emperor is very capable of whatever he is doing. He is experienced. He's a fire, uh, fighter. He is um, a master. Okay, this guy, if, if he's a father, he's a very good father. All right. Um, usually, I mean, in the upright, he is a very good father. But he likes being the boss. Okay, he is the boss. So have faith. Have faith. And whatever is happening, you know, that, that there's a reason why it is happening. Cancer. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. This is a stable individual. Somebody that has the Midas touch. Somebody that is a hard worker. We definitely have a hard working masculine here. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with or that you're questioning or the reason you're watching this reading. The masculine is... Successful, okay. I see success, I see capability, I see responsible, hard working, grounded, down to earth, um, unstoppable. This guy is very solid. He is a businessman, he may have his own business, he may, you know, be running his own business. He has his money, okay. He He's not lacking for anything, this guy. And he really is a force to be reckoned with. So we have a masculine that is a force to be reckoned with here. He has a lot to offer. Knight of Cups reversed. So there's a lack of a love, though. Okay, the Knight of Cups reversed is... There's no relationship growth. This isn't a loving situation. 
there's no love here there's a lack of love there's a lack of emotional support there's a you know um no not very emotional this guy isn't very emotional okay he's hard he is definitely hard You may need to protect yourself from this person or they're protecting themselves. We have a protector here for sure. This guy's a protector and this is a protector. So we could have somebody here that is protecting themselves for some reason or you may need to protect yourself. This is defense. Okay, defensive. This is also a challenge. Remember I said at the beginning, some challenges, opposition, fighting. You're up against some stiff competition, Cancer. You are. You could be... Or you could, say if you were the feminine, you may have two people that you're dealing with. A king of pentacles and an emperor, you know. Or it could be the same person, I don't know. But there is some stiff competition here. And you may end up being caught off guard. We definitely, this is refusing to budge and this is refusing to budge. So there's a masculine here that is not going to budge, Okay. I'm sure about that. Now we have a high priestess. The high priestess reverse is somebody that is not aware. They may think they are. They may think they're awakened, but they're not. Somebody that thinks they know it all, but they don't. Somebody may be too reliant on tarot readings or mediums, and they're just not using their own intuition. You know, you need to you need to take a step back and, and, and listen. Listen to yourself. Don't listen to everybody else when you get the... High Priestess reversed. Now this is this is also somebody that lacks female friends or somebody that is shallow. Um, the reversed uh, High Priestess can also resemble secrets being revealed. And we saw the judgment, which is also truths being revealed. So if somebody has been keeping some secrets, they are going to be revealed this month. The High Priestess is somebody that is very needy. Um, and and so needy that they don't that nobody even wants to be around them. So we have somebody here that is very needy, very high maintenance in some way. Um, hmm. Three of Cups. Now this could be somebody who parties too much, or this is a celebration. The Three of Cups can be a celebration, having fun, partying, socializing, drinking. Somebody is drinking. Could also be a third party situation. Somebody could be unaware of a third party situation. Ten of Wands. Overwhelmed. Burdened. Carrying something. Carrying some sort of heavy weight. Working too much. Trying too hard. Somebody has somebody that is well suited, better suited for them. I feel like you need, somebody is missing something. It's like they're not getting the reciprocation in a relationship because perhaps somebody that they are dealing with is interested in somebody else. It could be a third party situation here. But this is out socializing and meeting somebody that you are compatible with. So, Cancer, if you are out socializing with your friends and you're partying or whatever, you're on, you're on a dating site, because this is socializing, you could meet somebody that is uh, very well suited for you. Now, this person is younger, okay? They're, they're a little bit younger than you. You may be unaware. Um, you may be unaware of... Uh, The attraction, or you may be unaware of the compatibility. Now, this is good news arriving. So, there is some sort of good news arriving. But, the Page of Pentacles reversed. And I'm not sure if we're dealing... We have a couple children here. There could be some, some sort of issues with children. Um, but, the Page of Pentacles reversed is a dead end. Okay, it's lack of commitment, dropping out, foolish. This is lacking common sense. Somebody that is unhealthy, that doesn't want responsibility. So we have somebody here that is losing something. They're losing a golden opportunity because of their issues. It's like, I don't know if there's drinking problem or drug problem. 
and it's weighing this person down. The person that is overdoing it is losing something. They're losing a relationship. They've probably lost a relationship or they're losing it. Nine of Wands reversed, refusing to compromise. Cancer, you are you got somebody here that is not going, whether it's you or the other person, you have somebody here that is not going to budge. They are not going to compromise. They are not going to give in. This person is super strong. Very, very, very strong. Not only are they strong, and it could be you, this person is solid, stable, loyal, secure, uh, genuine real okay there's there's real here realness with the king of pentacles so there's somebody here that is their mind is made up and i am and they're not going to change their mind so if you are thinking that you are going to get somebody to change their mind you are wrong you are wrong i feel as though you know we, we, there's a there's like uh Somebody that is thinking, I can do this. I can, I can, I can. I can get them to change their mind. But I, I think that's not realistic, okay? You may, because this is very positive, okay? I can do it. I can do it. I can, I can get them. No, you can't. This person's mind is made up, okay? Somebody's mind is made up and they are not changing their mind. And there's a feeling of being overwhelmed because it's like you, you, you got so much on your plate. You're trying to hold on to this and you got to let it go. There's something that you need to let go of, Cancer. You can't keep carrying it. It's time to get out and start socializing. It's time to go have some fun. It's time to look for a new suitor and let go of whatever it is that you're holding on to that is killing you. It's like, I don't know why you're holding on to this. Because whoever it is that you're holding on to has made up their mind and they're not changing it. They are not changing their mind. Their mind is made up. You're dealing with somebody who is very disagreeable. Something to do with the law or going to court, like I said. There's also some karma here, okay? The decision is, a, a final decision is going to be made this month. And it's going to be a fair decision. Everything is going to turn out as it should. There are two sides to everything, and some this is card of consequences. I think we have somebody here that may be protecting their children. Maybe that's what it is, because this is two children, and this is protection. It could be a father. I don't know if it is, but it is somebody that is protecting their children. It doesn't have to be a father, but it looks like it's a masculine. But anyway, it looks like there's some there's something that it, and there's protection, whether it's children, they could be protecting themselves. So there is some sort of protection here and the decision is going to be made. This is a final decision. We have somebody here that, you know, it's like the truth is going to be revealed because of that judgment I saw in the high priestess reversed. Somebody, it feels like we have somebody here that has been doing drugs or they've been drinking and they've been hiding it and the truth is going to come out. Okay, the truth is going to come out and it's going to cause somebody to make a decision. And I don't know if it's a judge or what, a decision that is fair and just, but may not um, be what you want to hear. Something to do with the law or a judge or court. There is going to be a fair and just decision that is made or it has been made. And this is somebody that doesn't want responsibility, that is losing something They're, because they didn't follow through. They didn't do what they were supposed to do. So it's coming to an end. The Ten of Swords is it's an end. It is the end. It's the death of a situation. It's, it's uh, goodbye. All right. It's goodbye. It's being defeated. There is a feeling. There is defeat. It's the end. It's the end of a troublesome situation. There's there's a situation that is coming to an end where somebody didn't follow through. They didn't, they didn't, uh, you know, the Page of Pentacles is starting on something and finding the ability to follow through with the plan. Somebody didn't follow through with the plan. Now they're going to lose. Okay. So be prepared for a decision to be made and there's no going back. It's like, this is the decision. This is the decision. I think somebody's going to be caught off guard. 
there is somebody that is going to be ca caught off guard and you know it's gonna it's gonna break them it's gonna break them it's it's gonna cause this uh mental breakdown or it's gonna reveal the truth and this could be i don't know if it's a defense lawyer or something like that does it have to be it's like this this person or it's a protector it could be somebody in protection services that reveals something that changes the outcome I, I don't know who it is but it's somebody that changes the the whole scenario um if this is in regards to a love relationship which i'm not sure it is because of the page of the knight of cups reverse it's like there's no relationship growth somebody you know wasn't emotionally available they weren't in it for you know, they may have presented themselves to be that knight in shining armor, but they really weren't. And now you got to protect yourself. you got to protect yourself from the fakeness, from the false uh, love that they were offering. I feel like there is, uh, we have somebody here that really needs to protect. This is protect yourself and this is protect yourself. Somebody really is, is needing to protect themselves from a false love, okay? The Knight of Cups reverse is false love, okay? Um, and it is going to end. So there's going to be a decision that ends the suffering. Okay. There's a decision that ends it all. Okay. So be prepared for that. This is a fair and just decision. There is some sort of karma here. Um, hmm. There is a new opportunity though. Because the page of wands is, is a new opportunity. This is an offer or an invite. This is very playful. This is a new direction. This is going to allow you to take a new direction and follow your heart. This is like a new connection. So I think that we have somebody here that is going to develop, create a new connection with somebody. The worst is over. It's like, yes, okay, it's time to, you know, come together with whoever this is because this is a, this is a, divine union by the looks of this is a match this is love this is a unity this is a compatible couple coming together looking at each other face to face this is getting what you deserve which is a union that is well suited for you so everything happens for a reason Now, we have the Emperor up here and the Emperor reversed, okay? So it feels to me as though you are probably going to be defeated by, or or you're the one that's doing the defeating. Somebody is going to be defeated and they're going to feel de betrayed by a husband or a father or a masculine that, and maybe this masculine has chosen another partner and his mind is made up. And you can't change his mind. The The decision is made. And it is a final decision. So I do feel like we have two people that are coming together after... Uh, painful separation with the Ten of Swords. I do think it is... It's You're up... This Emperor Reversed is somebody that will do anything to win and this is will win will do anything to win it as well when at all costs the emperor reversed is is um somebody that is corrupt somebody that will do criminal activity somebody that deserts you in the time of need somebody that is controlling somebody that is entitled okay so we have a very entitled individual here who you know, and maybe they're not entitled, but I feel like this has to do with an emperor that uh, is not happy with the circumstance, and he's caused a lot of problems in some way. Um, I think that this guy, this could be a narcissist. Okay, the emperor in reverse is a narcissist. So there could be a narcissist here that is getting some sort of karma. Perhaps the person that they are interested in is in love with somebody else. Karma works in mysterious ways. We do have two emperors here. We do. So we got we got one of them 
that is a protector. One of them is dominant and authoritative and, you know, just, and the other one is not. So I feel like there's some sort of exchange. Exchanging the narcissist for the real one. I do feel like that. There is some sort of exchange. There is. I think there's also going to be the mourning of a loss. Mourning of a loss. In March. But it leads you to a new connection. That is more peaceful and divine. So yes... There is a divine connection here. There is. And somebody may have been unaware that that false relationship wasn't the right one. But when this person comes in, it's like, where have you been all my life? So there's an exciting new opportunity that, that comes in after the, after the final decision is made. It's like the decision is made. It's over with the Ten of Swords. Now, you've got this new opportunity right here. With somebody that is a kindred spirit, somebody that you are more aligned with. So I feel like in the month of March, Cancer, you may not have been aware that whatever it is that you were holding on to wasn't the right thing for you. But the fact that the other person stood their ground was actually a blessing in disguise because now you have a perfect match coming into your life that is more aligned with you. There is definitely some sort of karma here that is playing out. Somebody is getting the karma that they deserve and it does involve a huge loss. I know that it does. But it brings you something better suited. Yeah, because it's exchanging a narcissist for a perfect match. Good luck. Remember I said have faith? Trust your faith and everything happens for a reason. Good luck.